Hi, this is Chiranjeevi. Now I'm going to explain this uh, problem. So if you observe this uh, carbonyl chloride, aromatic carbonyl chloride reacting with secondary amine and uh, NaOH, water and dichloromethane. Okay, so one can easily give the product by using this. It is an example of short term Bowman synthesis of amides okay right and if you observe the mechanism So this base act as nucleophile and attacks this carbonyl carbon and this electron goes on to the oxygen and then Okay, we can get this one and further to compensate positive charge on nitrogen it attracts electrons from this one and loses H plus and this negative charge comes on it and chloride leads okay by the leaving of HCl we can get Okay, we can get this in this product. It's an amide derivative. Okay, it is easy. So one can do uh, this mechanism and I can give this product. Then, what is the use of NUH, water and this dichloromethane? So now I'm going to explain total uh, reaction conditions. Okay, so here another chance is there. That is so this OH also that means this OH minus this hydroxide anion can act as nucleophile and it may has a chance to attack this carbon and carbon instead of this secondary amine and then there is the chance to form leaving of Cl minus so it's a stable leaving group okay so here is a chance to get carboxylic acid aromatic carboxylic acid right so why not this come this product is uh, uh, be the product in this reaction why this is the product okay so if you observe these reaction conditions here so when you use so NaOH it is inorganic and it dissolves in water okay right inorganic and then so this is uh, disopropyl amine this is it's a organic amine and it dissolves in organic solvent so here so so this is one phase and this is one phase this is so sorry this is aqueous aqueous inorganic phase
and uh, this is organic organic solvent phase okay so if you mix this all this uh, substrate and this uh, reagents in a vessel okay we have two layers so one is upper layer contains aqueous solution of NaOH and the lower layer contains solution of dichloro methane and organic base okay right so when you when the reaction is taking place in this vessel in the lower layer containing solution of dichloromethane and organic base okay and acid chloride acid chloride solution which is substrate okay right that means in the lower layer we have all the react uh, substrates to form reaction that is acid chloride and this organic base okay acid chloride and organic base and dichloromethane it, it's a solvent organic solvent hence this uh, base attacks so it acts as nucleophile and attacks uh, acid chloride and here is the formation of amide organic amide so and after the formation of amide hcl is released right so this hcl so we know that hcl dissolves in aqueous solution hence the released hcl in the lower layer goes into the upper layer which is aqueous solution of naoh in this solution naoh base re reacts with hcl that means naoh neutralizes hcl in the upper layer hence this is the product so this is not to not the product okay do you understand so the hcl which is released in the lower layer it goes into the upper layer which is aqueous solution of NaOH this NaOH neutralizes HCl okay so there is no chance of presence of NaOH in the reaction conditions only it uh, neutralizes HCl and the presence of this organic amine react with this acid chloride and the product is this one okay if you like my videos please subscribe my channel thank you